Headers and footers can be added to a worksheet to print additional information about the worksheet. To add headers and footers for a worksheet, click on View, click on Page Layout. In this view, Excel displays where you can add header and footer for the worksheet. The header has three sections, left, center and right. You can add different information into each section. You can add any text you want to enter into any of the sections. You can also add some standard information which Excel can automatically populate. Under Header and Footer Tools tab, there are some buttons, page number, number of pages, current date, current time, etc. Page number can be added to right section of header. Click on right section of header and click on page number. You can see Excel populate ampersand page which is known as element code. Now click anywhere in the worksheet you can see page number is populated in right section top corner. If you page down, you can see page 2, 3 and 4 populated by Excel to other pages in the header. You can also enter number of pages which populates total number of pages in the worksheet. Click on right section of header and click on number of pages and click anywhere in the worksheet in this example worksheet has four pages hence excel populated with four the same value will be populated in all four pages of the worksheet Current date and time buttons will add current date and time to header. You can see the current date and time added to the uh, right section of header. File path adds the full file path. You can see the full file path, C drive, test folder and file name sample data 1. File name adds only file name, excludes the path. You can see sample data 1. Sheet name adds the worksheet name. In this example, sample sheet 1. Picture is to add any image like a company logo. If you click on it, you can browse and select an image to be added to header. You can see all element codes Excel had ampersand as a special value. But if your text has an ampersand character, 
For example, if you are trying to enter text R&D department into center section of header. Then to make ampersand part of text, you need to type two ampersands. If you type R and two ampersand characters and department, You can see Excel removes one ampersand character and makes the text as R&D department. Footer also has three sections, left, center, and right. You can enter any of the element codes which you tried in header in footer also. Excel also provides with options to have separate header and footer for first page and a separate header and footer for subsequent pages. Click on center section of the header. Click on header and footer tools tab. Select the checkbox different first page. You can see Excel displays first page header. Type first page header. From second page onwards, Excel displays just header. And you can see first page header is not repeated here. Type subsequent page header. If you page down, you can see this header gets repeated for all rest of the pages in worksheet. If you want to have different headers and footers for odd pages and even pages, click on header and footer tools tab. Clear checkbox different first page and select checkbox different odd and even pages. The example worksheet has four pages, so first and third pages can have one header and footer, and second and fourth pages can have different header and footer. Type the text you want for odd and even pages. Excel repeats the same for all odd and even pages in the worksheet. You can see page 3 has odd header and the page 4 will have the even header. You can also have different first page header and footer and different odd and even page header and footers. Click on header and footer tools tab. This time select both different first page and different odd and even pages checkboxes.
Now Excel allows you to specify first page a different header and footer which will not be repeated to any other pages and for rest of pages you can have separate headers and footers based on if they are odd or even pages. You can see first page header is not repeated, repeated to any other pages and third page will have the odd page header and for fourth page whatever was entered for second page is repeated and if you have a fifth page the odd page header will be repeated. You can see for the fifth page the odd page header is repeated.